I will say what is this Vijay Baba all about? Okay, what are the commitments? So, whenever we think of prelims, why do you think that prelims is very important for us? Like to clear a UPSC. Why? Yeah, that is the one kind of thing. Like, have you ever, like, uh, when did this uh, negative marking has been introduced in this UPSC civil services prelims? Negative marking? No? In the year of 2007. Okay, why? earlier of that particular time we are not like uh, much aware of this uh, surroundings what is happening in our surroundings in our childhood there's a very high status for this district collectors right nowadays like uh, every person are aware of who like if you are going to attempt that uh, civil services you are going to become a collector now you are ha having that awareness but earlier we don't know like who are the persons who are the collectors we, we think that they are some kind of heroes that like they came from certain background, I don't know like from where, but they are some kind of heroes. In that perception, we are there, right? But now, we are aware. Why? Why this happened in the society? Like, why does it happen? Okay, permanent employment. But earlier also, there is a permanent employment. So you can take this as a, you are aware of this uh, Charles Darwin theory, right? Yeah. So human will evolve. Similarly, their thoughts also will evolve, right? So earlier, at the 2007, at that time, like uh, uh, UPSC felt that uh, the district collectors, rather than guessing the question, we need some kind of uh, persons who are very good at reasoning. Why? Because earlier, whoever the civil services management, like whoever are the district collectors or any CEOs of any institutions, for example, rail, take Indian Railways, they also come from this exam only. But those are not very much efficient in implementing the policies they are like very much down to their mls or whoever the, are controlling them right whoever the political persons are there they used to control them okay they used to focus on just whatever their whatever the su uh, superior used to say and they used to follow right but we need age of reasoning for that only you can empower your society you are being an as a leader of society after going to a district magistrate like particular of oh, 50,000 to 1 lakh members are under your district and you want to empower them what will happen if you accept your support uh, like superior like you cannot empower this kind of people right for uh, you if you want to empower them you need at least that concept of reasoning right I'll quote a small example for example take a religion earlier whatever our elders used to say we just obey them but now we are questioning them why we should do that earlier they used to follow because some or the other kind of accident if accident happens they used to say because of that only this happened okay but now you can calculate okay this accident happened because of this i am calculating this because of i have that amount of reasoning okay reason of that concept okay so upsc also thought that the district administrators should have somewhat kind of reasoning kind of knowledge so they introduced negative marking but nowadays what happened after introduction of this geo internet what happened everyone are getting same kind of knowledge earlier if you are from hyderabad or if you are from delhi or some capital city you are very good at knowledge but in the remote villages like teachers are not very much aware of that so they cannot deliver same kind of lectures to their students right but now after geo even you can sit on the corner of the class and you can learn right so the upsc want nowadays like more number of people are increasing the even india became the most populous country right like more number are developing like more number are coming out okay and with the use of internet tools they are empowering their knowledge right but now what they can do is they can ask the questions of reasoning now for the 2007 they have like they introduced the uh, negative marking system but in 2023 they even changing the patterns okay even they are introducing number of statements in one question they are covering whole topic on that okay what happens if you doesn't have that kind of reasoning kind of knowledge or conceptual clarity you will be out of risk so we have to understand what UPSC is going to ask okay so for that the Vijay Baba is doing is it is making you familiar with the syllabus okay it will break down the syllabus okay let me give another example for this also you are going from one place to another place 
you doesn't have awareness of the destination okay where it is going to be but you want to search that what happens you will take number of u turns to reach the destination but if you take the guidance of this gps or google maps earlier like, like we used to ask the guides but if you have this gps you will directly go to destination right we we are using that kind of gps system right now so what we are doing is we are breaking down this syllabus for your understanding okay for that why this like uh, why we are breaking down this syllabus is you you should have that concepts which are very much important why upsc is going to uh, ask in certain kind of topics it is biased for certain topics if you see in the previous years questions also there are particular topics in particular subject that will be repeatedly asked right for example take with polity uh, basic structure they will shuffle this or fundamental rights they will shuffle on it okay but they will try to focus on that subject like that point of subject only for that you have to understand you have to more focus on this syllabus so we are breaking down this in the vijay power program <coughs> and you can also get this key areas also if you understand the syllabus and you, if you analyze the previous years questions what happens is you will understand the key areas of that subject and you will be very much focused and you will be very much ready for this exam okay we are uh, doing this uh, breakage of syllabus like uh, there is a pamphlet also everyone is like publishing on that right you have seen that our syllabus copy like they what what is going to be happen in the january month december month okay and later on till april 16th we are going like keeping on daily test right we are going to make you familiarize with that kind of topics okay after this why this conceptual clarity is important like i have addressed this step before like age of reasoning in in that way we have to understand this and what is smart work everyone used to say like uh, do smart work do smart work so what is smart work like does anyone have idea okay yeah, maybe that, that that's the point but uh, like you are saying in kind of guidance right okay maybe okay fine like what is the most dangerous weapon in the world brain okay what does it generate idea right yeah so brain is a organ okay that will generate this ideas right so what is like uh, if you want to generate like a uh, world's dangerous weapon what happens like a uh, atom bomb oppenheimer have you saw this movie what does he said like he said like uh, he he also taken reference from this bhagavad gita that has been also controversial he said like i was similar kind of like i was inventing similar kind of a that right he even said that it all happened because of his idea his idea of on the physics right because of that only it happen so similarly smart work always depends upon your idea so what we are trying to inculcate is you you want we want you to generate ideas we doesn't want you to depend on us like until now like till degree or till your engineering services what you have done is you have depend on your friends or else your teachers if they didn't teach that you used to say sir this is out of syllabus or else you didn't teach us but here for clearing upsc services we doesn't want you to rely on anyone even i may be biased sometimes like come and learn from me okay but that is not the thing to be happen to clear the prelims right prelims or upsc we want you to create that idea within your mind okay so similarly we made daily test what are the concept you have to read and what are the ideas you have to generate okay from that ideas we will ask similar kind of questions if we ask daily questions what happen on the first day it will be somewhat difficult for example take 2023 paper if you see the 2023 paper for the first time you feel that this is the very toughest exam right but if you are familiar like if you take an a person who is preparing for last pa like past 5 years he feel that this is okay this is an average paper where i can clear okay he will be in that idea why reason because familiarity okay we want you that kind of familiarity with you okay we want that kind of ideas to be generated so if we ask the daily questions what happens you will get familiarity with that okay so that like you will improve by yourself that's it we doesn't want you to depend on any person even if any person says that don't believe it okay so the smart work always depends on ideas generation we want you to generate your ideas and time management 
everyone used to say time management time management will happen with experience right like time management will happen with experience right for example if you are clearing prelims within one year you may not clear the mains for pa that particular year right for if you take this uh, like this is as an experience for the next year if you clear the mains then for the ne another year you have to depend on the uh, like interview right so three years gone in that preparation right so where we have to focus is we have to understand how can we solve very quick and very efficient okay that also be done by yourself okay we want to inculcate that also this comes under the smart work the smart work of UPSC preparation you have to inculcate to do such kind of questions for example if you are taken to solve this 10 questions in 10 minutes for the next day at least you aim for 8 minutes that's it okay you have to improve yourself your graph should always be in this way uh, if you take for the first day within 10 minutes you take for the next day within 8 minutes okay within 5 minutes in the in this way you have to reduce your rate of solving okay in that if you practice that for a period of like uh, at least for 21 days after 21 days your mind will always like it will habituate it will habituate and it will help you to solve that okay you have to focus on this also time management and like mock test i have explained same to generate these ideas we are making you to familiar with the test that's it and practice practice multiple times so that you will become a master that's it if you doesn't practice what happens after a few days at least like you will forget everything but uh, one, one one student earlier used to ask like sir i i learned my bicycle riding in the childhood but now i am not forgetting <laughs> but i am not practicing it daily but why there happens with the muscle it, it is like muscle memory but here you are using your cognitive abilities okay these are the cognitive abilities which change within 21 days with the changing of your blood okay kind of mem memorize like magnetic kind of particles that changes in inside that that kind of evolution ta takes place in your brain right so you have to practice 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 okay and then so why are we bringing this program yes. you have to answer now yes to be familiar with the questions that is going to be given in the UPSC okay this program always focus on that okay we said like we don't want you to rely on us we want you to rely on you so that you can clear soon or else if you rely on us what happens you will take as an experience and for three four five years okay i even said like we we want you to evolve your ideas for the uh, in this session also initially we have focused on the basic ncrts for the first month okay why we are doing that because we want you to establish a foundation right after foundation you can create a building whichever you want but if your foundation is not strong what happens collapse example initially with the procrastination and with emotion kind of videos we will study for 10 to 13 14 hours for a day but the next day what happens we will collapse okay that doesn't need to happen for that you have to be on the strong foundation okay if your foundation is very good you will definitely stay right yeah like uh, some kind of uh, disturbances will happen in every person's preparation at least one and a half month in the that year will go in kind of instagram in kind of youtube okay if you calculate that kind of time okay we are nowadays like because of this internet of things we are much habituated for feeding right whatever we are seeing we are feeding into our brain without knowing okay if you see youtube like we don't know what recommendations it's come and we like we will feel uh, we'll feel like this video is somewhat interesting and we'll touch that time's gone right it will happen with every person but you should not discourage you what you have to do is you have to sensibly come back from that okay for that you need basic foundations if you remember what is needed you should do like for this program or for clearing prelims and if you make your foundations you will be clearing this okay and we want you to familiarize okay what are daily study goals we have given in the timetable okay it was a very hectic schedule for the next 175 days trust me like it will not be very easy it will be very hard 
of course why because if you say like uh, uh, if you are very much familiar with one subject words for today for the next week you can't go with the new kind of words that is been introduced in the new subject right that will be somewhat like it will take at least one day or half day for you to remember that like you to memorize that works and remember that okay so initially it will take time but you have to focus on what is the daily target at least you have to focus on what is daily target and you have to complete it at any of cost or else this will be like piling up in the in the very, like, very heavy and you can't clear that in later right okay so importance of revising why revising okay and like what is the technical thing like that is important for revising now only i said like with instagram what happens with our mind we are feeding we are not recalling right we want here you to recall whatever you are reading we want you to recall for that you have to revise or else it will doesn't go into permanent memory it will always stays in the temporary memory and you will forget okay so art of revising will always help you to send that concept into that core memory okay and second thing is you have to recall from that core memory this is your target for that you have to at least focus on revising or else it's gone okay and interactive learning like uh, everyone used to like say like interactive learning means like uh, sir you will discuss and we will not discuss in the class like you are continuously teaching for us like uh, and you for example for one hour i'll talk for 40 minutes and i'll make you talk only for 5 minutes right how like uh, what kind of interaction is that sir like one student used to ask earlier like what kind of interaction sir like i can't like here what we want you to understand is like we are giving you certain kind of guidance okay in that guidance you have to reason for your goals you have to coordinate with the society for example if i say like uh, uh, what is reason topics chardam project that is uh, the tunnel construction has been collapsed right like if you are uh, if i am going to say any kind of topic like uh, on that chardam project or any kind of tunnel collapse you have to link for what are the geographical factors that is happening okay you have to remember your subject at that time so interaction means you have to interact by yourself why because at last you are the person who is going to the exam if you discuss with me okay it will be like uh, some kind of information sharing but what you have to do is you have to analyze in your brain okay you have to generate same kind of ideas okay that is kind of interactive learning or else you can discuss with your friends later in the uh, after uh, like like after completion of the class you can discuss with your friends but on that like discussing also you have to link it up with societal happenings that's it okay that that's where we are focusing on this current affairs current affairs is also extension of static whatever the changes that is happening in present day okay that are been extension of what is happening on the past okay that is the static and what is current affairs is like extension of that a new kind of thing is been introduced that's it okay and we are like this program always guides you for the quality over the quantity many people says like so don't be biased of your institution like you are saying you should read particular kind of material why any person mentions that is not because he was superior than the other institutions he want you to familiarize with his ideas so that you can generate your own idea or else if you take number of institutions and number of ideas what happens no idea you will collect information but you cannot no idea yes you cannot generate idea why because you will always be in confusion state you will say that okay that is also correct this is also correct this is a at last you will say i don't know okay that should not be happen okay and the program vijay bhav program already sir has explained like 175 days of hectic schedule okay from january from now also ncert is also not a easy thing for class 6 okay class 7 is also okay but from 8 also they will introduce new kind of terminology okay why is that terminology is important main answer writing is a part of thing okay terminology to understand the questions okay so see why ncert terminologies are important because if you are a district magistrate you are belong to particular hyderabad state and you have been transferred to north east state what happens you doesn't know that long language right there should be a universal language okay 
that terminology helps you or else you you will say like in telugu okay we we know that like in hindi we can't explain right so there should be a base for that okay this terminology will help you in that particular situation so all upsc syllabus or all upsc content will always focus on the ncrts in terms of geography or in in terms of other other subjects why they focus is they want you to establish one unique kind of base that is one language and that terminology so 175 days program and like 100 daily tests like have you felt like after seeing this kind of program have you felt hectic okay but how to make that familiar how can you make that familiar initially it will be very tough for anyone even if if uh, like if i was a student like particularly sitting there i will feel that this is very tough but after coming to this stage i understood that i have to focus I, i i should not skip any kind of test even i don't know the answer also i should not skip that's it why because like if you give that kind of capacity to your mind the mind will completely adapt for that take an example of this building only for the first day you will search every step okay every corner and you will find like where is like entrance all this but now within like if if on the first day if it taken for 5 minutes but now you will come within 30 seconds why it is a passive kind of learning that brain can adopt right that kind of capacity was with the brain what you have to do is you have to give the key okay for that you should never skip the test okay if you are giving the test and if you are challenging your brain for the first say first day it will say okay i will solve this but for the second day it will say no 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 this person is torturing me but if you constantly keep on giving that it will take it as an a habit okay it will adopt and it will somehow finally it will like do like whatever the challenging task you are giving it it will overcome that this is the mantra that is been applied by every topper initially he was also a beginner but he was suff- he suffered for that okay he have only one target like i'll clear that okay for that he suffered what happened his brain adopted initially if you go and ask like any basic question also he cannot like explain that but now if you go and ask him he will be familiarized example if if we are talking in english on the first class itself you didn't learn english right you didn't learn anything but now we are conversing in english you are understanding that words you are reasoning why why does it, this happen your brain has that capacity to function on that okay like so trust me you don't skip any test even if you don't know also try to attempt okay try to solve that for only 15 20 minutes and then skip okay and keep every remaining all works as a pending and focus on this okay this should be done so that like hectic task will be very much familiar with you okay and the co- hard copy and exclusive things are been given this is very familiar for the you and in the month of december what we are focusing ncrts and why to make you stand on yourself we don't want to rely okay the next standard subjects why we are going on standard subjects because we are pushing your brains that's it without knowing only you have to challenge your brain and you have to evolve that's it we want you to evolve that is the main target of us okay and faculty of this program you are well aware the vishnuvardhan sir our md and geography will be dealt with navin banu sir and i'll be dealing history okay and vamshi krishna sir will be dealing with economy and mani madam will be dealing with science and tech and environment and ecology and current affair parts and uh, csat also will be dealing uh, with uh, gauri shankar sir and uh, i was not aware that sir him like like every subject will be dealt in this program why we are focusing on csat also because like nowadays csat is a key for them to eliminate you right they are focusing on csat why i said the pattern of change the pattern of evolution for 2007 they introduced negative marks for 2013 they have changed the pattern for 23 they are focusing on from 2021 only they are focusing on csat to eliminate you somehow they want only serious kind of students they don't want you or luck okay in that way and 
if you have any kind of doubt you can call this numbers 